Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and recently I got a request from one of my subscribers telling me that I should do the ultimate overclocking test with the Pikaka kernel on Renovate Eyes 2.0 and see if the Samsung Galaxy S8 finally manages to smash the iPhone 7 Plus leader in onto the benchmark and I thought mm, yeah okay it is worth trying. So, today I won't only show you the score, but rather how to test it out by yourselves, if you are really curious. Stick until the end of this video in order to see the final result of this overclocking test, you will be absolutely amazed. I have already mentioned how to flash the kernel in my previous tutorial, with the Super SU root method. So I won't get into detail with that, but today I will show you how to get it working with Majesk root. Reboot into TWRP recovery, install pikaka kernel.zip, then wipe, cache and dalvik, and finally flash Majisk 13 beta. Okay, so all links for these files are listed in the description right down below. Click reboot and bear in mind that uh, the first booting process will take up to 7 minutes. After you completely boot it up, open up Play Store and search for Synapse application. This is the app you're going to be using in order to overclock the GPU or CPU or both of them and customize all other settings. Then download onto the benchmark and onto the 3D bench. Open up Synapse application and grant root permission. Then go and set the CPU frequency to the highest one available and click the thick button in the top right corner in order to apply the settings. Then go into GPU settings and again set the maximum frequency available. For now let the rest of the options untouched. Open up onto the benchmark, grant apps permission and click test. My first run was extremely good, every GPU scene went pretty well without no lag or whatsoever and at the end of the benchmark the score I got was close to 180k points. Checking the rankings table and yeah. Currently we already have a new onto the benchmark champion with over 4000 points over the iPhone 7 Plus. And I thought, well, this was the first run. It, it could be better. So I opened up Synapse and tweaked even more settings to get the most juice out of the hardware and give it another shot. So the results I got at the end of the second benchmark test literally smashed not only the iPhone 7 Plus core, but also the app itself. The difference between my Samsung Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 7 Plus was almost 10,000 points. Comparing an official stock Galaxy S8 with my overclocked one, there is almost 25,000 points difference. And what does this mean? Well, of course, absolutely nothing in terms of daily usage. Any device in this ranking will be butterly smooth during day-to-day -day usage. But in terms of benchmarking, we all saw that the overclocked Galaxy S8 simply vanishes every device out there. I will wait for your comments right below the video and tell me what did you got. I'm really curious to see it. Anyways, this was the quick video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you click the thumbs up button and, uh, and subscribe down to my channel for more awesome videos. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.